what we got. I didn't want to see if we can grab a... So basically only that one is better than what we got. I don't think they're going to have a better helmet though. More horses, yeah. Heavy spirited horse, no lord spirit horse, no lord spirit. I do want to get like one more just in case, oh, let's see. Can actually get, grab a couple. Yeah, let's see, let's grab. You gotta love it. Even when it's stubborn, it has the same speed as when it's normal. <laughs> Heavy Nolo Gold Leaf Horse. No, Nolo Spirit Horse. I grab a bunch of these just so we have some just in case. Grab another one. Now if I could just sell them that. Now we're not gonna train with them, fuck that. So we won one tournament, nice. And we got some fancy armor outfit. Let me actually check this. 36627. It's actually better than the runic plate armor. The default one, at least. Not better than the Emerald one, which we're probably going to take. Okay, we can't take that on our own, and why haven't our guys actually... Army of enemies near Marleons, that's not good. Why haven't our guys actually, you know... Never mind. Nice job, guys. Declari outright. Marleons not besieged, so let's help them out. Right, maybe I should see if Red Sword is there. Uh, quests? No. Where the fuck are the quests? No notes. Red Sword, where the fuck are you? So I guess I should ask one of them, right? Look, okay, we got far more, uh, five more Jarls. Also, the feel of Mazen, where the fuck is that? Okay, we're not getting over there. 
I already have an eye to the other. Down. As for the kingdom, no, I want this playthrough to a bit will be a little bit shorter, so we're just joining Firdwain. What do I want to look at? Oh right, my knight to the other troops. You see, I do have some of them here. Yeah, I made them look silly, so I mismatched all the armor they could. I could. Even two shields, a short axe, the dragon slayer axe, I think. And as for the sergeants, I give them two sets of uh, arrows, a bow, and a that axe. I can't remember how it's called. So I did that. We're basically at the end of the game. We're just conquering the land and doing the noble tournaments, and that's it. There's nothing stopping us. Freezer's Vein snowballed as usual, even without my help. And now we start. Oh, if the shard take, like declares war on us too, that's gonna be suck ass. <laughs> well, not that many times. I only have two playthroughs up on YouTube, right? Let's wait a little bit. I mean, at, I'm at the point where this mod is just fucking easy for me. You know, after like 100 in-game days, I'm pretty much set. The archers hole there, cav there, infantry to the ladders. Let's see if we can bait them out so they start going down the stairs or the Whatever this fucking thing is, the plank. Come on. Come on. No, it's not gonna work. Oh, right, they have those. Oh, those are gonna suck ass. What, did I tell you not to fire? like a dead I don't know when but still uh, you can go on Prophecy of Pandora's forums on Tail Words and I think one of the uh, mod and designers or makers mothers said that he was he's working on some other mod or something or a game actually so once he finishes that, he's gonna look into. Well, they're gonna look into making the Prophecy of Pandora for uh, Metal Lord. It's gonna take a while though, since they have to like plan, get all the visuals down, voice acting, the lore, and everything else. Then they're gonna make it. Shitty night to the order gets one shot by me. <laughs> Well, then again, with nine power strike, everything is gonna get one shot. Anyways, we are getting some pretty good mods for Battle Lord too right now. Have the have the what's it called? Colorado Awakens, right? Which adds magic to the game. This one's pretty good. Well, looks pretty good. Haven't played it yet. I do want to go over there and kill those. I might need to do some flanking action. Jesus Christ, they have a lot of these motherfuckers. And who knows, we might actually get some, um, you know, kind of mods like Pandor. Maybe not with, not with the Knight of the Order, but still some fancy mods like this. 
that people did start modding the hell out of the game. Yeah, those archers are gonna s screw me up. Let's go hide. Or maybe not. But we already pushed through, so not bad. And even like um, uh, Perizdo started getting a lot of updates actually. The Perizdo mod. Right now actually. So it's up, uh, like I think uh, before Battle Lord came out it was up to like version 0 0.9. Now it's up to 1.3 or something like that. 1.3.5 I think. So they're still working on that. I mean, we still have mods that aren't finished for Warban. I have enough stuff to play with until, until Battle Road to get some fancy mods out. Although there are a lot of people playing the Persistent Co-op mod. Seems pretty good. We have a bunch of friends to play with. I still feel like most people are just waiting for the for the game to get more polished, basically. This does seem to crash very often if you don't like set it to one to keep one patch to like not upgrade, update. You basically have to restart the campaign every month, which is a fucking pain in the ass if you play for a long time. If like your campaign is to drag on. And do all the stuff like marry, have kids, micromanage everything. I feel like that's most well. There's a lot of people hating Battle Lord too, and the other half is half of them are just waiting for it to get polished. And there's some people playing the game, not very many though. Well, except now, the. I want to do that. Uh, yes. Pick more adventures, why the hell not? Give it the MMO, MMO mod. I'm actually not sure how many quality gems I actually have. <laughs> Maybe I should look and see. Do we have a shitload of gold bars, that's for sure. Those up. I think I only have one quality gem right now. Yeah, we can get some Nolo troops, I guess. Or I really wanted to. Okay, that's all. Right, it has some. Do I have no. I actually left the recruits back there. Unfortunately, we are losing a shitload of morale for some reason. Yes, my lord. Uh, you do need. I think you need the, the gold bars for the hidden mines or something like that for one of those things. Like either the location or to give to the guy or the weapon. And maybe you just need a large pouch of diamonds now. You have you really have to like to look it up every time you play because they changed it a lot 
all like they change it all the time. Okay, you can look it up here. So for yeah, for the rune we weapons you need you need a quality gem and a gold bar for a runic weapon. And to upgrade them you need quality gem. Is it that way? Okay, as of to upgrade the, the runic weapons and the runic plate armor, you need uh, one gem and a large pouch of diamonds, which is 100k money. You can uh, buy it at the guild master. So you do need a gold bar to actually get a runic weapon and a quality gem, of course. So it's gonna you can use it for that or get mercenaries. Well, let's claim it. Fuck off. I want to do your quest. What's up with the garrison? Seems fine. Let me check the morale, actually. Alaziz. <laughs> That'd be a fucking funny name, right? <laughs> okay, taking Alaria. Maybe I should go check out Sarleon, see how many troops they have. Maybe I can, like, drag someone with me to attack it. Or get the king, I guess. Okay, now this, the, they have a fucking, quite a big garrison here, a thousand troops. Why the fuck are you running away? Translates to Victorious. Well, that's nice. The hidden mines of victory, right? The hidden victory mines. Um, sure, I'll be the marshal so we can knock out Sarleon real fucking quick. You're gonna go down because you're the guy with the fucking skirmish cap. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. Is there a better map? Doesn't really fucking look like it. Victorious hidden mines. The weapons to take over the world. How the fuck did I miss that? Oh, he's gonna get crushed. Um, easiest way to get, uh, well, you can get one from Rane, and you can get one from the, like, when you speak to the guys that uh, can tell you about rumors and stuff. Sometimes they will t yeah, tell you of a hidden location of a Red Brotherhood uh, hideout. And you need to pay attention because it's not gonna be in, you're not gonna get the quest for it. Like at all, it's not gonna show up, so you need to pay attention to what he says where it is. And that's another free quality gem you can get. Although it's Ooh, we're actually taking damage on this one. Um It's not as easy to take out because they have a bunch of really good troops in it. So you need a couple of high tier units with you. Or high tier companions to actually get it. After that, just go around looking for unique spawns that are e easily taken out, basically. That's for the most part the unique, the unique spawns that are like mercenaries and stuff. 
not the like Dread Legion or or Jatu armies. You could basically like win any battle if you have a shitload of archers and just camp on on the hill and just restart the battle each time they run out of ammunition or they get or the enemy just get too close to you. And I think there is a way to get a qual I think the Nolo tournaments have a chance to drop a quality gem. I'm not sure about that one. Oh, and I guess uh, one of the easiest unique spawns you can take out are the three seers, I'd, I'd say. I'm not sure, completely sure if you can get the quality gem off of them. I think you should be able to. But basically just winning getting elite troops and beating the shit out of the unique spawns because look at my strength, agility and charisma and then proficiencies too. I like spent three or four quality gems by now on elixirs from Finnis the Git to increase my strength, agility and charisma. And I'm just gonna dump points into intelligence from now on. And again, I did play this game a whole lot, so I know all the tricks. Then again, I am playing on the easiest difficulty, so I guess it doesn't count, right? Ah, shit, I forgot. We're at war with them, too. Okay, let's see if I can gather enough troops. I'll be calling a campaign again. That's it. That it's that easy. What did you bring with you? I'm not sure. He might have brought some Nolor with him. Now I do want to take out the, no the Saleon guys before we. Who the fuck has 400 troops? Oh, the king. I guess that makes sense. Kind of. Let's see if more of them can gather here. Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> or maybe you can like cheese the game and try to get the unique spawns to run into either Noldor or a whole bunch of troops. Like maybe the Inquisition down in the Shar area, if you're there. Or drag your own uh, kingdom vassals into it. Or, you know, your allies. It's basically, you have to pick the unique spawns. Take them prisoner, then, uh, then talk to them and ask them to give you the quality gems. Because apparently some people don't know about that too. And then we're just waiting for it to drop on the battlefield, which it doesn't. You need to take them prisoner, then talk to them and get the quality gem. Or the money. Or get them to never come back again, kill them. Or get their unique armor or the... Or the... Secrets to make it, actually. So those are basically all the option can, options you can have. I do always tell people to go for the quality gems that are just, just so much better than anything else. You don't need the weapons because the runic weapons are the best in the game. Mystical rune armor you can get from the Noldo tournament, so I advise never fighting Noldo, there's no fucking point in it. New mercenary maiden cap, sure. Oh yeah, gather around, boys.
Uh, no. I don't really use builds. I just go for as much as... Uh, as much as I can get in training, leadership. And then Iron Flash Riding and all the stuff you need for combat. I know Hitpoint Hint did a really great video about builds in Prophecy of Pandor. I just prefer to be on the, you know, f f um, fighting actually, you know, so see, you see. I just, I go, usually go up to in 21 in strength, agility and charisma. Then all the other points, I'll, I dump all the other points into intelligence and use the elixirs to get these up from then on. You see, I point in, put points into leadership, prison management, persuasion, iron flesh, power strike. Upper Master Shields, Riding, Athletics. If I use the bow, I would use Power Draw too, I guess. Trainer. And Inventory Management, that's it. Oh, this one is a pain in the ass. Well, maybe not, not that much, since we have a clear shot at the enemy. More or less. You make sure they're firing at will, because sometimes apparently I t tell them not to. You guys stand closer too. The build for your character really depends on your playstyle. If you want to be constantly in the battle, in the thick of it, you're gonna go full on Iron Flesh. Even though it's all the everyone just says don't waste points in, into don't waste put points into Iron Flesh, it's a waste. I don't think so though. I like my Iron Flesh. So I don't get one shot by a demonic Magnus. Okay, I don't want to see where they spawn at. Once we kill enough of them. And basically for all the other stats you need, you just get the companions to do it for you. Like I usually grab Anson and uh, Leslie and just make them medics, you know, full-on medics. Later on, give them. Okay, they're going up to the right, so I need to flank left. Good. I uh, made Anson the engineer and just put, put a, po a lot of point in, points into tactics and uh, and what was the other one? Trainer, yeah. Definitely should have picked up a two-handed weapon. Maybe the runic two-handed sword, right? Although I did do a playthrough with uh, where I used the bow too. Basically, I think I picked up like most of the Eurink weapons in that one too. The other Prophecy of Realm one. Can wait for a bunch of reinforcements to come in. Or not, I guess. I can tell the calf to go in too. 
Okay, nice. They've broken through the middle, it seems. Kind of. Still getting shot to shit. Now, I hope, hopefully, they tr uh, drop a lot of um, garrison into the city. Okay, this, this, oh shit. Never mind. Let's see if we can bait him down the ladders again. Okay, now. Yes, now. Not really. Motherfucker. I need a bigger shield. <laughs> Looks like all the enemies are bunching up on this side. Can I squeeze a hitten? Please, come on. All right, I know I should I should have done. Should tell the calf to Maybe like push through and stand there. That's kind of too late now. We only killed 200 of them. Fortunately for us, they have a thousand troops in here, so this might take a while. Unless I restart the battle. Which I think I might. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to like... Maybe like push through and place a lot of troops in that whole gap on the right ladder. there take the archers up there so they do some damage first and they were certainly on long bows though but once we get rid of, rid of some of them like rush in there with the cav and the uh, infantry to block them off block the reinforcements off should be good after that. Okay, infantry, you follow me. As they go up. Yeah, like tell the Oh, this is pretty fucking easy to get in here. Oh, I see someone I don't like. Fuck you, you ice ranger ice dude, whatever you're called.
Make sure you go attack because we should have more infantry, right? And cav. Oh no, okay, cav, wait there, infantry attack. Fortunately for us, we can't get over there. Hey, Dream Skull, what's up? Why do these guys look so fucking weird? And why do they use a falchion or a meat cleaver or what the hell, whatever that is? Can't kill me. Well, do I have to destroy your shield? Okay, let's try and get our archers up here too. Or maybe, no, no, actually down there. No, up here, then down there. Maneuver them a little bit. Yeah, that was easy. Got the foothold. Now it's just down to kill them. Killing them all. I do want to go to flank that side over there because they seem to be ignoring it. And there's a whole bunch of archers on that side. Actually, there's a whole bunch of everything here. Definitely should have grabbed a pole axe or something for the sieges. Marleon's heavy cab, that's what's the problem. Actually, let's get some cab to go this way. here so we can kill him. And there we go, we took Psalio more or less. They just have two cities I think, or no, two castles actually, just left. Gonna be piss easy since I'm the marshal. Jump up this. Oh, you can. Nice. As for the archers, you stand down there. Try to shoot them for fuck's sakes. Okay, let's go the long way around so that they can eat damage. That's, that's fucking helpful. Actually, I could grab... Yeah, Rune Silver Axe. Actually, this is worse than the Ruby Axe I got. I think. Because it does cutting damage instead of piercing. Leave my gunner alone. I don't have any ma very many of them left. Okay, maybe if I tell them to stand closer, actually. Yo, yeah, the FPS drops. Then we're gonna look at all the corpses. <laughs> they have 1k troops. Well, they don't have 1k. They killed like 300, I think. In the first battle.
It looks like all of this is just shitty garrison. How about you shoot the enemy? Yeah, push a little bit in so they're not stuck on those over there. Now this is an easy way to get 100 kills, I guess, if you need that achievement still. Okay, maybe don't get surrounded because you can't actually attack. Hundred kills. Even the kill field this kill feed disappeared now. <laughs> I bathed in my enemy's blood. Literally. <laughs> Oh god, they're still spawning in. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Oof. 20. No, they're still spawning in. 225 kills. Not bad. Oh, 122 kills. My bad. Let's see how the others. How did the others do? They did fuck all. Um, let's take them all prisoner. We don't want any resistance now, do we? Oh god, we're gonna need a lot of... Let's see, is there a bunch of anything good for garrisons? Skirmishers? No, that's not very many of them. Guess let's take the highest tier troops. Then Magnus, Legionary, Crossbowman. Sure, it's not like I can hold. Not like in like I can hold many of these though. Mid Ranger, sure. Oh, Adventure is nice. That's all we can hold. Um. I'm not gonna ask for it. Please. Yeah, they didn't place any garrison in their shit. Now that's what I hate. About being Marshal. You guys didn't actually drop troops into the city you take or castle. prisoners in there. I guess I could dump all the all the house cars in there. For now, um, but now I'll do that. Grab the food. What's our morale like? Excellent, good. Let's see. Hmm. Probably is gonna be taking that because Back Empire is just gonna arrive and Kill most wars. Maybe not. We'll see. Okay, let's go take out White Stag now. I 
They're probably gonna go try to take that right back. Should be able to make it back there. Now, might have a problem here because our guys are gonna get attacked by Noldor, so. Well, we're sitting here. Okay, maybe not. Oh, I remember this one. for the companions Ooh, can we use it can we use it of course not this ain't Benelord <laughs> would be cool though there are some mods that actually made it work the fuck are you doing uh, made siege uh, like actual siege equipment work I think one of the Romans mo Roman mods did like it's a Roman Bellum, might be Roman Bellum, well, however you pronounce that. Oh, this is one where we need to get our stuff in there as fast as possible. So let's just charge in because their spawn is pretty fucking far away. If you get in, in there, we're good, we're golden. Unfortunately for them, they can't actually do damage to me. <laughs> well, they can, but it's not gonna matter. That's why I have a shitload of hit points. like a shorter drop somewhere yes there is so I can flank damn the fucking mask it just reminds me of Solaire from Dark Souls when he gets that bug on his head or whatever that was can't remember really Sir Roland is level 34, and I'm level 35, and I'm still better. Haha. <laughs> you fucking skirmishers, you're killing all my men. I have to play baseball with them, I guess. Or they're gonna just outright kill me with the... Yup. Might be better if I just run away for a little bit. So they stop targeting me. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna die in one hit anyway. Well, maybe not, maybe two. Oh, this was a bad idea. You have a clear shot at me here.
Which means they're not crossbows, right? Archers down there so they can actually shoot at the enemy. I wonder, can I knock out San Leon with this one? Ah, oh, shit. With this one campaign? Um. I know you love me and all, but I would like to go down. <laughs> uh, come on. Let me let me drop down there. Come on, come on. No. Good. And that's why you would need a lot of iron flares, so you can eat the full damage and not care. Let me actually go and flick those archers up there. Fuck them. Kill this one first. Yeah, just no, just ignore me. No, fuck off. It's your funeral, I guess. Oh, f I forgot where you get up. Okay, this m might not have been the smartest of ideas. Yeah, just, just ignore me, the aggro, come on. to block actually well as a matter I guess my guys are in there anyway you're gonna go take a quick piss
Jesus, we still haven't won. Uh, probably because they're fucking spread out all, all over the place. Yeah, especially those camping archers up there. Unfortunately for them, my sinners are actually better than them. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. I love when the game just sometimes lets you move the camera, sometimes it just doesn't want to budge at all. The only two killed from my party, that's nice. Let's see if there's anything we can use first, then I'm gonna pick up troops for the Garrison. I guess heavy infantry, the sharp shooter can stay. Mercenary warrior, Misty Mountain warrior. Marsmen are pretty good, and I mean they have a have a longbow with them. Empire mortal, Magnus, worshiper, sure, lancers, sure. much of a choice here, right? If she just pick up all of them. Yeah, let's drop all of these in. more. I mean, we still have a decent amount of troops. The king didn't even fucking make it to the battle, which is even funnier. Should be able to take both of these right now, if the empire, the Bax empire doesn't interfere. Skirmishers do your thing first. Actually, cab move in front of the in the back because most of them don't have shields. Jesus Christ. Looks like they do have some Knights of the Lion here, which is bad. See where their spawn is, or which way they come up, to be exact. Well, they do have to punch through their shields, I guess. 